Okay, let's go over the situation. Wait, where's Yuki-san? Yuki-san went out into town. She wanted to check on the people we freed. She's quite kind-hearted, isn't she? We can tell her everything later. So, Toshiro, will you tell us what's going on? Yes. Just as he said, Yoshiki is my father. I remember everything. He is Yoshiki Kasukabe, a current member of the Diet. Huh? Your old man's a politician too? Kasukabe. He's a Diet member who doesn't attract much attention, but he's had a long-standing career. I've heard he even has a reputation for consensus building within his party. Yes, some people call him Buddha Kasukabe, an admiration of his serene temperament. On the surface, that is. My father is obsessed with political power. Not being one for the spotlight, he tended to shy away from publicity, which is why he sought to fulfill his desires by making me prime minister. When I was a child, he raised me very strictly. Not just academically. He drilled me on political etiquette and controlled my social interactions. If I failed to comply with his demands, he wouldn't hesitate to raise his hand against me. Even as a child, there were moments when I resented being born to such a family. My father's word was absolute. The thought of rebelling never even crossed my mind. Moreover, I had no one else to turn to. Ah, uh, what about your mom? She didn't help you? My mother was very frail. She passed away when I was little. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. To be honest, I can barely remember her. <laughs> Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, I eventually became a diet member by riding on my father's coattails. Even now, I simply do what my father tells me to do. That still hasn't changed. Even my history, it's rather laughable that I could forget him. <laughs> However, there's something I still don't understand. From Yoshiki's... From your father's perspective, you were always an obedient son. So, why was he so upset with you? He was so desperate to find you, that he even said you were a wanted criminal. He seemed awfully enraged about something you ran off with. What was that about? <laughs> My father actually is a criminal. Following Representative Shido's downfall, my father finally decided to take action. He laid the groundwork to ensure that I would be nominated as the Prime Minister. I don't really get this stuff, but is it really that easy to do? Not under normal circumstances. However, my father took advantage of the political turmoil that's been going on since last year. He employed shady characters to intimidate representatives he had dirt on. He also went about wheeling and dealing a large amount of Marie's family's financial resources. That's true. And he's guilty of extortion, blackmail, and bribery. All criminal offenses. And you're sure of this? I had documents he forged, voice recordings, and other hard evidence as well. I had a hunch my father rigged the election. Which is why I investigated. I still have the evidence which I secretly stole on hand. So... All you have to do is go public with that, and he can't control you anymore. I couldn't muster the courage to blow the whistle on him. My father's schemes were not out of the ordinary in the political world. Ending the political confusion with steady leadership was in everyone's best interest. Is what I kept telling myself. It's truly a shameful story. This was an inexcusable crime. Though unqualified, I'm still a Diet member. And this is a grave betrayal of the people's trust. Well, setting that aside for now, I think I finally get the gist. Yoshiki thinks you hid that evidence, so he's trying to get it back, right? No. I thought so too at first, but something still doesn't make sense. It's very unlikely that my father knows I stole the evidence of his crimes. First of all, he didn't show any signs of panic about his misdeeds potentially being exposed. Furthermore, I doubt the thought of me betraying him would have even crossed his mind. But why is he after you then? That's because... <sighs> it might be because I thought that he knew about it. The thought of my father questioning me about the evidence I stole fills me with terror. 
In other words, I think he knows because that's how I perceived it to be. So, if Toshiro's perception is reflected in Yoshiki, then that means... Uh, someone clue me in here. Then that means this kingdom is born out of Toshiro's cognition. Are you saying this part of the metaverse is Toshiro's? I believe that's the most pragmatic explanation. I should be the only one who knows I have the evidence, so it would all fit together. Although it could be possible that my father caught on to me in the real world. But the incident at the enemy base convinced me of my theory. The password. Oh, you mean the password you used to open the hidden door? Yeah, that was close. I still can't believe that door was actually giving me serious trouble. Oh, I get it. That was when... How's it looking, Oracle? Can you open it? Oh, this lock is a bit tougher than I expected. This guy is either really paranoid or a serious scaredy cat. Hey, let's have some fun and make this guy squeal, huh? This is getting bad. We have to stop them. Wait, I, I know how you feel, but we can't... Oh, no. It sounds like there's a tense situation going on over there. Damn it, I can't crack the password. Sorry, it's gonna take me a bit longer. Come on, we just need to get past this, and then we'll be able to expose all of Yoshiki's misdeeds. Misdeeds? Expose? Ugh. Uh, this is looking really bad. How much longer, Oracle? Oh, I'm so close. I just gotta do something about this password. Sorry, but I'm borrowing this for a moment. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Pops, what are you... Huh? I just need to input the password, right? This should do it. It opened! Way to go, Toshiro! You have an act for this kind of thing, too? No. <laughs> That was just... All right! Looks like we're all set on our end. Ball's in your court, guys. I must have been able to open the door because I perceived myself exposing my father's crimes. Couldn't you have guessed the password because he's your father? My father is a cautious man. He would frequently change the password on these kinds of devices. Isn't it a little hard to believe that something I came up with at random was the right password? Well, that's... I have more evidence as well. There's also this place, LeBlanc. This place? What about it? I had a nagging feeling there was something familiar about LeBlanc. Then it hit me. I knew this place in the real world. My being the youngest candidate for prime minister caused some commotion. I was uncomfortable no matter where I went. I was overwhelmed every day, having to entertain visitors, meet other diet members, and deal with the media. And one day, I stumbled upon LeBlanc in a back street. From then on, I went there to find refuge whenever I wanted to be alone. <laughs> yeah, it's so peaceful there that you can hardly tell they do business. So you're saying LeBlanc doesn't get customers? If the chief heard that, he'd be upset. Oh. <laughs> coffee there is exquisite. It's possible I ran into you all there before. Then why does this world exist? And how did you end up in it? I wish I knew. However, if my theory turns out to be true, then it means I've dragged you all into my own problems. I'm truly sorry. No need to apologize, man. That sort of thing doesn't bother us. Even if it turns out we're stuck here, we'll just work something out. Yeah, I mean, we're practically pros in metaverse combat by now. If we can't overcome this, then perhaps we were fated to be here. But if you haven't noticed, we don't give up easily. I mean, how can I just lay down and die when there's still so many sweets I want to try? Really? I see. You're all very tough, aren't you? Well, we've been through a lot, so we're not going down without a fight. Don't sell yourself short, Toshiro. Huh? You discerned your father's motives and took action of your own volition. 
If you had kept quiet about it, then you would have remained his puppet. You couldn't overlook your father's crimes, so you wanted to make things right. Isn't that so? Huh. <laughs> but I didn't have the courage to. Not at the time, right? Think about it, Toshiro. This is the same as when you confronted Marie. Just like you said, even puppets have a backbone. Yes. You're right. <sighs> Phantom Thieves, I have a favor to ask. You want us to do you a favor? Yes. I'd like to make a deal with you all. Even if this world is in my mind, I still can't manipulate it at will, right? For example, I can't just wish my way out of here. Yeah, that would probably be difficult. First of all, changing a person's heart is not an easy feat. Every time we steal someone's treasure, we're risking our lives. In that case, there's something I have to do. I'm not going to run from my father anymore. Not even from the version of him in this world. I need to see him again and settle the score. Will you lend me a hand, Phantom Thieves? In return, I give you my word that I'll indict my father for his crimes. I'll come clean with everything. I'll free the political world from corruption and... This a deal. What you all would get in return is too ambiguous. I need a more tangible reward. Since you're phantom thieves, maybe some cash or jewels or even gold? Uh, but where would I get that kind of money? Would it even be legal? Uh, there must be something. So, what should we do? Huh? We'll fight by your side while we're here. In exchange, you'll indict your father for his crimes in the real world. That's the deal. We don't need anything else. You're the only one who can set your father straight. Yeah, if there's a grown adult out there who lost their way, we're counting on you to fix him up for us. I... I swear, I'll fulfill my promise. You have my word. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. And then it's a deal. <laughs> oh, Yuki-san, you came back. Yes, it seemed like you were discussing something important, so... Oh. I should explain things to you as well, Yuki-san. But... Well... How do I put this? It's alright. I only heard a little bit, but I was listening. Although I may not understand the finer details of your world, I know you want to win against your father, correct? Yes. Then it appears we have the same goal. Many people are still imprisoned in the basement of Yoshiki's castle. My only wish is to rescue them and rid the people of their suffering. So, once again, could you please lend us your strength? Thank you. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I'll do everything I can. Well, I'm sure everyone is exhausted from all that we've been through. Let's stop this talk of battle for now and take a break. I'll make some tea for everyone. That sounds lovely, Yuki-san. All of you should get some rest. I'll start working on our next strategy. We need to act while the Aizen squad is still in disarray, so we don't have too much time to dally. Oh, right. If you're coming up with a strategy, I'd like to explain something to you first. Hmm? All right, let's talk over there. I think I'll have some tea and rest for a bit. Me too. It's about time we finally took a break. <laughs> I have some good tea leaves on hand, too. I'll bring it out once it's ready. 